This game is very broken. You can literally walk on the sea to Albania. Hi guys, welcome to another Hearts of Iron 4 challenge. In today's video we're gonna play as Iran. Iron Man mode off with Stalker AI Fox is on and regular difficulty. Let's go. Ah yes, Iran. Fun fact, entire industry of Iran is concentrated in this state and in this state right here. Okay, let's go. I'm going to disband this cavalry division and I'm going to exercise remaining two infantry divisions. Let's also research support equipment as well as trucks. And I'll start by building a mill in Tehran. First focus I'm gonna pick is political effort, and I think we're ready. Let's go. And political effort is finished. I'm instantly going to hire a fascist demagogue, Abdul Samad Shah Bakhti. And now I need political power, so I'm not gonna pick any focuses for now. My goal is to end up in a civil war as soon as I can. Let's now stop production of guns, and let's start production of gas. I research support equipment, I'm going to research interwar tank development now. Why? Well, why the hell not? For now we're getting pretty solid 2.05 political power per day. And now we got 151 PP, so let's go for Silent Workhorse. Now I'm getting 2.35 PP a day, which is definitely an improvement. And we now are gonna cross 10% fascist support, which means now I can do all the civil war decisions. So let's prepare for civil war and let's expand civil support. This decision is going to ruin my stability, but I have to do it unfortunately just to get a civil war. We research trucks, let's now research basic machine tools. And since we're about to enter the civil war, I'm gonna do naval effort focus. I need naval dockyards. And I'll explain why I did this before the civil war and not after the civil war. And Spanish civil war just kicked off. We're gonna be in a civil war in a few days. We now got 47% stability, which means we're ready for a civil war. Let's delete all of our army. And now I can pretty much ignite it. Let's ignite it. As you can see, I am now doing naval effort and so is the enemy side. They're gonna finish naval effort and they're gonna spawn three naval dockyards either here or here. And I'm also gonna spawn three naval dockyards here. So yeah, I'm gonna have six naval dockyards as I run just from this civil war. Next thing I'm gonna do is start improving relations with Italy and also with Germany. I'm also gonna ask Italy for military access and we're also gonna get an aggression pact with them. Now when I think about it, improving relations with them was a waste of political power. Next thing I'm gonna do is create a new division template. Let's just call it... I don't know, Sigma. Very funny. It's only one battalion, so 1000 men per each division. I'm going to train 100 of them, which is basically 100,000 men. I sadly lack 2000 men, but it's okay. I'm also going to start freight production of everything. I'm going to put 10 factories onto CAS, and let's start freight production of guns, artillery, support equipment, and trucks, as well as fighters. It's time to start land leasing Spain. I'm going to start land leasing Republican Spain. I'll send them infinite amounts of guns, artillery, support equipment and trucks, which I don't even have at all, as well as CAS and fighters. And now all I gotta do is wait for a couple of days for relations to improve with Germany a little bit more. And now we're ready. It's August 936 and it's begging time. Please, my dear friends, Italy and Germany, please help me out. Italy is gonna give me artillery and guns, while Germany is gonna give me CAS, artillery and trucks. I have to keep modifying the land lease to Spain, so that it never arises. You can see when I modify it, it gets reset. It's now 30 days, it was 20 days. This takes a lot of micromanagement, but it's gonna pay off in the end. Anyway, I'm going to deploy my first three divisions in Tehran, and let's just let them sit there for now. Let's also give them a general, and I'm gonna give them field marshal a little bit later. And my first delivery of guns has just arrived. Now I have to ask it to in Germany for more equipment again. It ain't much, but it's honest work. No, it's not really honest work, it's actually theft, but still, it ain't much. It's just, it's worth it. Let's just say it's worth it. And let's not forget to modify land lease with Spain. We finished naval effort. Let's now do collective status. We want to eventually go down to the militarism, which is going to give us tons of manpower. Let's start production of convoys. Put them on top priority, and I'm also going to import some steel. I'm going to need tons of convoys. My goal for now is to do nothing until I get 112 PP. Also, keep in mind, this leader is very good. Deal broker and also national integralist. These leader traits go hard, feel free to screenshot. Time to steal more equipment. And let's deploy these new divisions. Now I got 14 divisions. And interwar tank development is finished. I'm now going to research construction one. Let's also start production of some pretty bad light tanks. I'm gonna go for interwar light tank chassis, heavy machine gun slot, save, and let's fake produce tanks as well. I'm also going to end them to Spain in huge numbers, which are never gonna be delivered anyway. Guess what now? I have deficit of tanks as well. Anyway, now I'm gonna go for total mobilization. I can definitely do it, and why not? I'm going to lose manpower a bit, but I'm gonna get it back eventually, so 
I shouldn't be worried about it that much. Next thing I'm going to do is conquer central and uh, eastern parts of Iran, so I can have some more manpower. I'm also going to take this city right here, because it has tons of oil, and also free naval dockyards. So now I've got three naval dockyards here, and another three here, so i got six naval dockyards now. <laughs> and I also got tons of oil, which means countries are eventually going to buy some oil from me, and I'm going to get some extra factories too. Let's not forget to ask for more equipment again. This time I'm also going to ask for light tanks, and it is going to give me 67 light tanks for free. Germany decided to give me 68 tanks for free, and this is just the first month. Oh look, Primo de Rivera became leader of Spain. Let's now deploy some more of these divisions. And we finished collective status. Now I'm gonna go for nationalism focus. We research basic machine tools. I'm gonna go for dispersed industry 1 now. More equipment, please. Let's now do war propaganda against Iran. I want to get more war support, so then I can mobilize my people faster. And let's deploy more divisions. We now got 44 divisions, which means we got 44,000 men in the field. We finished building a factory, let's now build uh, two mills here. This state has the best infrastructure in Iran. Nationalism focus is finished, let's go for militarism. Time to deploy some more divisions. And we did it, we completely ran out of manpower, we got 0.0% recruitable of population. However, this is going to be fixed once we finish militarism. Now let's get some guy that's gonna get us army experience. Let's get army grouping expert. And more equipment, please. Hmm, look at this. So now, is this an encirclement, or is this an encirclement right here? I'm gonna pick an aggression pack with Turkey for more political power. And let's now get an army organization guy, army organization expert. We finish militarism, let's now go for industrial effort. And now let's finally get a third guy, I'm gonna go for infantry expert. Now we get pretty solid 0.27 army experience per day. And finally we are recruiting people again. We go to instruction 1, let's go for improved machine tools. Oh, the humanity! And now it's fine to deploy these two divisions, and now I got 100 divisions in the field, which means 100,000 manpower in the field. My goal is to have about 300,000 at least. How do I achieve that? Through militarism and through stealing even more equipment from the Axis. Let's now get state serves the military, this is gonna get me some more political power per day, and also now conscription laws cost only 75. And we got dispersed industry 1, let's go for construction 2, and industrial effort is finished, I'm going to use my research bonus on dispersed industry 2. Let's now go for construction effort, I need some sieves. Anyway, now I think that it's the time. What do I mean by that? It's time to start justifying on Albania. Why the hell Albania? Well, they're guaranteed by Italy, I think you know why. Japan declared war on China? Oh no. Ah yes, US passing neutrality act while the world is burning around them. Wow, Germany decided to send me 2.5k guns out of blue. Wow, that's a lot of guns. Construction effort is done, let's go for construction effort too. And let's get airborne assault expert. Time to steal some more equipment. Let's research construction too now. Let's build a mill in Hamatan. Let's now research electronic mechanical engineering. I'm just gonna edit this template and make it to, I mean, four width. This means in just about a week I'm gonna have 200,000 men in the field instead of 100,000. And guess what? They're gonna be mostly equipped. Here if we check the reinforcements, all we need is like a little bit of guns that we lose each day by exercises. Let's ask Turkey for military access as well as Greece. They're both gonna accept. Their military access is gonna come in handy later. Let's now do improved workers' conditions for some extra stability. And we could also go for political loyalty, a bit more stability too. And after construction effort 2, I'm gonna go for infrastructure effort. Let's get ground support expert. And after electronic mechanical engineering, I'm gonna go for uh, mechanical computing. And now we got 100,000 manpower, which means I'm going to modify this template once again. Let's make it 6 width. And then I'm gonna have 300,000 men in the field. Infrastructure effort is finished, let's go for infrastructure effort too. I'm gonna spam mills here. Oh my god, so many guns. Let's now go for limited conscription. Wow, it's it's 938 and Japan still hasn't broke this line here. Well done, Japan. And my justification for Albania is finished now. I'm going to end the civil war real soon. And here we are, they have capitulated. I'm gonna move my army here. I'm gonna make them have a garrison order in Italy, they're gonna garrison everything except for the coast and except for the railways. And because I have military access with Turkey and Greece, my troops are gonna transport there much faster than they would usually. And we got infrastructure for two, I'm gonna go for extra research slot now. My war will expires on the 17th of April, so this is going to be pretty tight. I'm gonna stop exercising my guys, so they get some organization, and let's ask... Germany to join their faction. I joined their faction, now I'm gonna take my entirety of the Air Force. I got 580 planes, which is pretty good. Let's get them into Tyrol, and let's make sure they're supporting our guys. And I think we're ready. Let's go. Keep in mind, I still have no aggression back with Italy, but I'm gonna declare on Albania, and now they're just gonna accept their 
call to the war anyway. And let's see what's the situation. We, they still control 42% of their victory points, which is pretty good. The most critical part is the northern provinces. It's really hard to keep them, so I have to make sure that my guys don't lose Milan. In the central Italy and in the south, it's barely gonna be fight at all. As you can see, they have only one division in Palermo and one division in Taranto. That's gonna be like nothing. Also, we should try our best to take Sardinia. And Italy has just capitulated in less than a week. They've been fighting less than a week. And they still and they have already capitulated. This is great. Which means now they're gonna be the peace deal in just a few moments. Here we are. Oh my god, in this peace deal I'm going to take these three states of Libya. As well as Ludo Canese. I actually don't need anything else from Italy. I'm just gonna puppet them. They could even have the rest of the Libya. I don't really care about it. Now we got tons of factories, which means we can produce tons of gas. Also gonna ask Hungary for military access right now. And keep in mind, we're still at war with Albania, which means I can beg for more equipment. 7,000 guns for free, well, that's just great. It's time to start planning with these divisions. I got 100 divisions. I'm gonna split them into four armies. The first army is gonna be put on Hungarian border. The second army is gonna be on the Italian-French border. The third army will be on the Italian-French border and also in Sardinia. And the fourth army is going to be partially in Libya and partially in... Southeast Iran. I'm also gonna train a couple more of these divisions. Garrison orders. Anyway, I'm out of manpower. Let's go for extensive prescription. Oh no, strikes. Let's go for the most expensive option because I got tons of political power. Oh no, Ismet is the leader. This is going to be painful. Well, you might wonder why. Well, because some developer, while making the Battle for Bosporus DLC, Decide to give this guy just 5 more gold time and a plus 200% modifier, which means you have to justify them for 300 days, while justification takes only about 3 days for other countries, which is extremely broken. Let's cancel researching this artillery, instead I'm going to research transport ships, so you can actually nail the weight. And we got the extra resource slot. Let's now cancel all the trade for now. Now I got 52 factories, and let's do extra resource slot too. Let's do all the trades again. Also, I'm going to research paratroopers. I'm gonna need them. Ah, come on, I have to do this again. Please, don't waste any more of my PP. I have a family to feed. Well, that, that sounded very wrong. I'm gonna let Italy control his divisions, because they can naval invade Albania. Well, I actually can't. Time to steal some more equipment from Germany. And finally, what heroes one and all. And look at this, Italy decided to naval evade. Let's request their forces real quick. Now you can just take out Albania. After extra resource slot 2, I'm gonna go for military youth. Oh, you know what? You know what I could actually do? Let me show you one exploit real quick. So all I gotta do is make sure that my guys are in this sea province right here. They are. And watch this, I just stopped them. And they can now just walk into Albania, even though there is no port connection or anything. Now I got 24 divisions in Albania. This game is very broken. You can literally walk on the sea to Albania. Let's just take out Albania. And we took out Albania, I'm just gonna take out states. And that's it. I'm gonna train about 10 cavalry divisions. They're actually not gonna be cavalry, but for now they're gonna be cavalry. The Munich Agreement just happened. Which means that Hungary just renounced Treaty of Rayon, which means that they're fascist, which means that I can just find them without anyone guaranteeing them, which is great. 165 days, not that long. And I should produce a transport plane. Let's uh, grab three factories and let's produce a transport plane real quick. Anyway, I'll have to annex Italy somehow, so I'm gonna start by building infrastructure in Veneto and in Piedmont, why the hell not? Let's get a uh, military theorist and now let's get superior firepower. And finally we've got transport ships. We no longer need them, but we're gonna need them later. We don't need them for now. Let's now get support. Weapons 1. I like it how we won a civil war and also conquered Italy and Albania without even having support. Weapons 1. Time to deploy these cavalry divisions and let's send them right here. Also take my entire air force and I'll send them all to that airport right there. Pretty chunky air force of 1091 planes. Very nice. Anyway, let's make this template 10 width. I'm also gonna give it support artillery so I can actually fight. And we got some air experience so let's go for air crew surveys. And now paramilitarism it is. We got paratroopers 1, let's get improved infantry equipment 1, and let's convert these 10 cavalry divisions to paratroopers. I like it how Spain is fascist, even though it has only 43% fascist support. I could actually conquer Spain as well, but I, it might be a waste of time, actually. We finished paramilitarism, let's go for ideological fanaticism. We have to garrison Italy as well. Let's get construction free. We got support weapons 1, let's go for advanced machine tools. Justification for Hungary is finished, I'm gonna try something. I think this is not gonna work. 
Oh, it actually does work. It seems like I don't even need paratroopers to take out Hungary. And just like that, we just entered Hungary. So, if you don't understand what happened, I had military access with Hungary and I started walking my troops into Hungary. And they just kept walking when the war started and entered Hungary through the neutral country's territory, which is Germany. Let's go for formation flying. Ideological fanaticism is finished. Let's start doing technology sharing. And I'm gonna do war propaganda against Hungary as well. I have to make sure that I don't conquer them yet. I'll try to take Budapest though. We made a nice circumvent right here, by the way. Let's take it out. And the fate of Czechoslovakia just happened. Hungary still got Kaparty and Ruthenia for some reason, but that's good. We're gonna take out Hungary, so more land for us. Anyway, it's time to start annexing Italy. I'm going to delete my entirety of my air force right away. Let's start sending land lease to Italy. I'm gonna send them 400 convoys. Let's also send them 1,200 cas. Let's send them also some 250 trucks, 160 support equipment. I guess that's it. That's still not gonna be enough. In the meantime, let's go for infantry equipment designer. Now let's get dive bombing. Well, Germany wants to send me zero of everything. Little is only 127 autonomy points away from being annexed by me. So let's want to leave them some more stuff. We finished technology sharing and now I've got the fifth resource slot. I'm gonna go for new guns and let's now do the suppress subjects focus. And land lease has just arrived. I need just about one more month to annex Italy, finally. In the meantime, let's crush Hungary. We don't have any air force right here, but we should be able to take them out. And just another week. And we did it. We annexed Italy. We now have no more puppets. Which means I got all my equipment back. Let's deploy the cast right away. And let's obliterate Hungary completely. They're doing last stand, but it's not gonna help them. And finally we took Petch, which means they're gonna capitulate. I'm gonna puppet them. And now I got 53 factories. Nice. Let's improve artillery. And let's go for uh, construction effort 3. Also, let's get delay. All of these Italian divisions will be used for garrison orders. This first army is gonna go onto the Polish border. Germany is gonna be a bit late to the war. Let's get anti-air, and also let's get support weapons free. I'm gonna go for promises of peace so I can get some stability. And now we're basically waiting for Germany to start World War II. And Molotov Ribbentrop just happened. Construction effort free is done. Let's go for army effort. After into artillery, I'm gonna go for cast 2, which is a bit ahead of time, but it's okay. Let's get improved infantry equipment 2, and also let's get advanced computing machine. Improved computing machine, sorry. World War 2 is about to start, let's deploy more cast, and let's send them out to Poland. Let's also take entirety of the Italian navy, and let's send it to Wilhelmshaven. Poland refuses German ultimatum, as always, and here comes the World War 2. Let's now join the German war. Now let's go. Where's Polish army? Oh, they're being justified on by Soviets and they sent their divisions to the east. Oh yeah, the only four AI. Defending itself from the passive threat while ignoring the active threat. And we took Warsaw. Rip Poland. The French managed to push here. <laughs> well done, France. Now I'm gonna send my air force to the northern Italy. I'll try to break through the southern France. After army effort, I'm gonna go for aviation effort and let's get mobile defense. Netherlands joined the Allies, so let's make sure that my guys help the Germany out. We're somehow breaking through Savoy with tons of cast. And now since I got some more participation, I can ask Germany for some land. I'm gonna ask them for their land in the Benelux. So when they eventually push into France, all that land is gonna be occupied by me. Also check this nice encirclement in Toulon. Well, technically not an encirclement, but you get it. Rip Belgium. Another nice encirclement right here. Let's finally try to take Corsica. Look at all these divisions getting destroyed here. Beautiful words of a psychopath. France is about to capitulate any moment now. Can we do it without taking Paris actually? We took Paris anyway. And here comes the France. France has been taken out and I got the occupation of entirety of France for myself. Pretty nice. Which means I got 121 factories, which is great. Now I'm going to take the first army and send it to Dunkirk. Second army will go to Ghent. And third army will go to Rotterdam. Let's start training a new army. Also, I'm gonna go for service bar requirement. Let's start justifying against Iraq real quick. And let's draw a naval invasion here, like this. And also a naval invasion from here, like this. Time to do some war propaganda. Let's do it against British Raj. And let's get Hunt and Destroy. Time to do fire focus. Let's improve worker conditions. Rip Denmark. Let's put this new army on Iraqi border and this other new army on Afghan border. After justification against Iraq, I'm gonna go for justification against Afghanistan, and let's deploy war on Iraq real quick. I'm gonna start pushing into Iraq, 
I just want to take at least one single province of Iraq. Let's start building an airport in this state with a questionable name. We took this province in Iraq right here. We don't have to push any further. What is Germany doing? They're sending submarines all the way here. Why? It's time to name with Britain. Why the hell not? Let's see if we have dominance. We have just enough dominance. Let's send our 2000 CAS bombers right here. French operative captured. Oh yeah, agencies are a thing, I forgot completely. And let's send these guys off to the naval invasion. Also justification for Afghanistan is finished, I'm just going to put one of them and I'll try to take, once again, just one province in Afghanistan. That's all I really want. Eight divisions will go and assign remaining 16, eight of them, assign, and assign, last eight, assign, and assign. Now let's now do the same for the second army. Let's make sure that my planes are supporting them. The research cast 2. Let's get fighters 1. Now let's produce cast 2. Yay, we have landed. Let's cut the London from the rest of the country, as usual. Let's make some manual pushes. And we did it. We cut the London from the rest of the country. The second army will guard London. While the first army is just gonna push. Oh no, my navy is getting completely obliterated right here. Why did it come out? I have no idea. I lost 100 vessels. For some reason they decided to leave the port and they just got bombed to death. And there goes the entirety of my navy. Hey, at least I got 200 navy experience out of nowhere. Let's get combat unit destruction. Time to push. Let's send in another army here. Disperse support. Let's produce some more support equipment. Let's check over our participation real quick. We got 49% of our participation. Germany has just 1% more. Well, it's time for us to do the good old trick. Basically, every time this bubble hits 100 on London, we're gonna get war participation. So all we gotta do is make sure it hits 100, not take the London, and then just repeat the process over and over again. Right now, we got 52 war participation, and we just hit 100, now it's 53. Now we did it again, 54, 55, and I have to keep doing this over and over again. It is a bit annoying, but it doesn't take that long. It's gonna take only about two in-game months, and I'm gonna have way more war participation than Germany. Let's do some war propaganda against Afghanistan now. Never enough war support, even though it's 100%. And as you can see, just like that, we already are at 63% war participation. I'll try to get at least 70%. If possible, even more. Norway has capitulated too. Good job, Germany. Oh my god, we reached northern Scotland. Let's not push. We might, we might capitulate UK by accident. We don't want that to happen. Let's go for aviation effort now. And the German division took the London. The typical German AI. However, I did get 75% war participation. And you know what? While we are still at war with the Major, let's start justifying against Turkey. And as you can see, this is the pain. It takes 275 days. So yeah, let's do it. As you can see, I'm losing at home, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna capitulate UK in a day. So yeah, here we go. The peace deal. Australia and New Zealand weren't touched as usual. However, Canada and South Africa were, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna see what I can do in this peace deal. And here's the peace deal. As you can see, Germany took only 16 states. They took out only Poland. Except for this state here, which I gave to British Malaya. They also took Scotland, and they also took Alsace Lorraine and also Faroe Islands, and that's everything they took. I took everything else pretty much. I also got British, French, Canadian, and uh, Malaysian puppets. So, what do we do now? That's the question. Well, first we have to take out Turkey, so I'm going to send about two armies in the Turkish border, and I think we should go after the USA, really. So, let's send one army here. One army here, and another army right here. Let's research engineer company, and also let's get recon company. Time to modify this template, I'm gonna make it 20 width, finally. In the meantime, let's build airports here, here, and here. USA has only about 45 divisions, they should be really easy to take out. Let's start just fighting against them, it's gonna take only 6 months. We're gonna need some more artillery, and some more support equipment. And obviously some more CAS as well. Let's go for CAS effort, and let's get Naval Strike Torpedo Tactics. Let's make sure that my guys got the trucks. Let's get some operatives. By the way, if you're wondering, why the hell does Canada look like this? Well, I'm gonna declare war on the USA, and I'm not gonna call in Canada. 
I can easily attack from this territory right here without calling it Canada. And the USC is gonna keep its divisions on the Canadian border anyway, so they're gonna have less divisions fighting me. Chaos effort is finished, let's go for secret weapons, and let's research Chaos 3. Time to get the overall firepower. I like it how we haven't even formed the Persian Empire and we already got 3.3 million manpower. Let's get better artillery. Let's give my guys engineer companies now and also cavalry recon. Actually, that's anti-tank. I, I need to give them engineers. I like it how I could put 120 divisions into training and I don't like neither manpower nor equipment. And justification for the USA is finished. Let's first move all of our casts here. Let's improve our artillery. And here are my planes. Let's give them orders. German like the clear around the Soviets, which is great. And let's go. And we already took Detroit, but I'm pretty sure the USA is happy with it. Germany wants me to join their wars, but I'm not gonna accept that. And we're pushing nicely into the USA. And justification for Turkey is finished. I'm gonna start building some airports right here. And let's go around Turkey for now. The fall of Kiev. Good job, Germany. They're fighting on their own against Soviets. Let's get strategic destruction. We're pushing even more into the USA. And yeah, Japan declared war on the USA as well, but they're barely doing anything at all. Well, they're... Well, I can't have to do an aggression pack with them because they have a war goal on me. Let's finally deploy some planes here. And let's push into Turkey finally. When pushing into Turkey is harder than pushing into USA. Turkey strong. Look at this. This looks so cursed. New Persian Empire. Rip Philippines. You know what, while we're at it, we might as well just fight against Saudi Arabia. And let's finally get forward interception. We now finish the air doctrines. How are we doing in Turkey? We're doing really nice in Turkey right here. And Germany is somehow pushing into the USSR. Justification Saudi Arabia is finished. Let's just crush them now. Oh no, they're guaranteed by... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to bother fighting Australia. Then the USA is gonna join that faction, then I have to capitulate Australia, it's just mentally exhausting. Let's instead just rush some victory points in California, and that's gonna be the end of the war. And finally, Turkey has capitulated. Let's take all of their states. And now I can finally create the Persian Empire. So we, got ha so we have 4 million manpower now, and let's see what happens now. 10 million. Well, that's nice. 62 million core population. Let's finally take out the USA. Please end my sufferings. Soviet Union is influencing our politics. How dare they? How dare you? Let's just try one more time just to get either to San Diego or Los Angeles. Or else I'm just gonna lose my mind completely. Please tell me that Phoenix is enough. Is it enough? Yes it is. Finally, thank goodness. The end of the war. I have to keep in mind that Japan is in the peace deal as well. Not really interested in the Philippines. Hmm, maybe I could steal a little bit of Philippines after all. Yeah, let's steal just a little bit of them. I took all of the American stuff. And here's the peace deal. Anyway, I think I should end the video here. Unless I want to go insane. After this, I could attack Germany. Or let them take out the Soviets first and then attack them. I think this is good enough. I created the Persian Empire and... Yeah, I guess this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, like, share, and subscribe, consider joining my Discord server, and yeah, that's it, see you in the next video, bye.